So this is called the DTV Shredder. And it was actually invented by a friend of mine named Ben Gulak, who at 19 invented a self-balancing electric unicycle. Shortly after, moved on to the Shredder. He's won numerous design awards, and now he's studying at MIT. Anyway, it's basically a tank scooter, as you can see. But the beauty is, it fits right in between snowboarding and dirt biking. And that's because it's all terrain and can be used in any season, from winter to summer and everything in between. To steer, you actually lean on the board, and then you've got your acceleration and brake in the handles. Anyways, you guys know that we live in Canada, and we get a ton of snow. So we thought it would be a cool project if we were able to turn this into our own personal tank treaded snow plow. Uh, it locks. Oh, we're already recording. All right, so before we start, let's get the shredder up on the table so we can really see how we're gonna do this. And as you can see, it's very light. Perfect. All right, so we got one standard snow shovel, pre-disassembled. And now, we just have to figure out how to attach this to here. All right, so the nice thing is, this already has some nice mounting points right on here. I don't know if there's actually any official accessories for this thing, but this is gonna work just fine for us to mount on the snow plow. All right, so let's grab some steel and make a weldment to attach these points. Ta-da! This one's a bit trickier because we actually have to get a nut inside where the handle went. So we're going to use this magnet tool. Thank you. And carefully, okay, I can see it. Let's see, yeah, some precision work right now. I think I got it. Let's try that again. Two hours later. All right, now we have all the bolts in. We can start mounting this to the actual frame of the shredder. Now, we just need to add some supports to keep the blade up. And the other side. Now, as you can see, right now the hinge actually goes too far, so it hits this. So, uh, precision is important. We're going to use some 2x4s to stop it from going all the way back. Ow. 
All right, I got some tension on this. All right, so the reason we added these springs is instead of mounting it rigidly, <laughs> if you were to hit something with it mounted rigidly, you would just fly over the handlebars. But with these springs, what happens basically is if you hit something hard enough, it'll actually fold the shovel down and you'll end up just going over whatever you hit. So I'd prefer doing that to uh, flying off the handlebars. All right, now you might have noticed this is just on a pivot point right now. So we want to add some kind of height adjustment. So depending on how much snow we want to shovel, we can just set the height either up here, right down there. You get the idea. Now to do that, we're actually just going to use this cable here. And what we can do is attach it to this other mounting point on the shredder. And we wrap it around the main bar a few times. Then, mount it to the other side. My hand does not go through this. You should do some of one of those experiments where like, you think you can see your hand is going into the box and then it gets cut off by a power tool. It's really not your hand, but you freak out. Just, you know, just when you see, you know, This? That's why I'm tightening it. Who knows, Ian? Who knows? We'll find out shortly. And then we'll retake this scene and do it right. Let's just have an episode where I start drinking. This is just sloppy craftsmanship. Hey, Rick. All right, so now, when you adjust the angle, so does the shovel. That look flush. All right, let's go. Where's that pull cord? Do you ever wonder how we're able to do projects like these? Would you believe us if we told you that we're not actually experts at building things? Even though many of us have engineering backgrounds, we've learned the most about making things from the internet. And that's why we're super happy to announce this video's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different classes on tons of subjects, including some of my favorites like engineering, business, and science. With a premium membership, you have unlimited access to these high quality classes, letting you improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work that you love. Lately, I've been brushing up on my business skills since we've expanded the team. They have some awesome courses on entrepreneurship as well as engineering. The best part is Skillshare is one of the most affordable learning platforms on the internet. Memberships start at less than $10 a month, and thanks to this sponsorship, we're happy to offer the first 1,000 signups to use our link in the description below to get their first two months for only 99 cents. Head over to Skillshare slash Hacksmith or click on the link in the description below. Pinch hazard. Pinch hazard. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, what are we doing? Let's not roll anymore and grab the camera. Hey! <laughs> My fingers were very new. Workplace safety. That's why I had to let go. <laughs> so, as you can see, with our suspension system, it can take you leaning forwards, brings it close to the ground. If you want it higher up, simply adjust the handlebar. And now we're riding high. You can go even higher if you want. If you're not snow plowing anymore. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but it uh, should be fun. Take it for a rip, but it is cold outside, so I better, better, better put on my toque, my hacksmith toque. One of a kind. It's a lie. Two of a kind. I don't know how long this hat took to make, but crazy. Look at all that snow. Three weeks later.
All right, so that was a really fun build. Now, it wasn't quite as functional as we were hoping, but it is a lot of fun to ride. And I'm sure you're gonna see more of the Shredder in future projects. If you guys want more information on that, check out Ben Gulak's site in the description below. Once again, thanks for watching and make sure you're subscribed.